Hello devs, Sid the IT guy here and this is a video about Elasticsearch and how we can use it along with Express.js and Laravel. So in our Laravel app, given the super admin credentials in the theater, when you log in and go to the stores page, you should see a page like this and a search bar uh, which is right here. So when you start typing in the search store here, um, search box, so let's say one plus, then yeah, then if you pull up the network tab here, so at the end, you should see something like this, where it would be body and it would contain a head index. And this would be an array of documents. So in this video, I will provide you two routes. Um, one route you can use to basically take any kind of table data and index it in the Elasticsearch database. And one route to search the data inside the Elasticsearch database based on an index. And the example will cover uh, all the way from Laravel routes to Express.js in a Docker, cont Docker container and the Elasticsearch running in a Docker container along with the Kibana DevTools console. So let's get started. Okay. So at this point, we are at the super administrator dashboard and you can see here that we have all the stores listed here. These are just uh, demo values. None, nothing is actually real here. And uh, we have defined a route in the web.php file which is Elasticsearch slash index and this calls the home controller index Elasticsearch method and this method all it does is a simple docker api call which, which is on the route index slash Elasticsearch on the port 8010. The headers are the same, the response is the same as the above uh, test docker api call here and we are just returning back with success in indexing complete and response is the json encoded response. So. At this point, we have the code to invoke the processor Docker container, which will in turn take all the values from the stores table and it will index it in the Elasticsearch index. So let's take a look at uh, how we are handling it at the Express.js end. So here we have an uh, index Elasticsearch defined here, which should be method.get. And here we have the try catch block. So in try catch block, I should be able to, this should work. Yeah, and in try catch, um, what we can do here, so here we have constant stores equals away dv dot get stores. So in database.class.js, um, you will see this method, which is asynchronous method, get stores. So all it does, it selects star from stores and it just returns the results. So here we have that. Um, Oh, I think I have to define it. So if I define it up, up here itself, I think it will work. Right after my SQL config, yeah. So now if we scroll down, now this get stores method is accessible to us. Yeah. So let's start um, indexing it in the stores index. So it would be, okay. So we have the Elasticsearch version 7.13.0 and we are going to run npm install because this is the closest version of the one that we are currently using. So in docker compose.yml file, you will see that we are using 7.10. So that's why the package is like that. Okay, so now let's require it. So in server.js, it would be constant Elasticsearch equals require Elasticsearch. Yeah. So at this point, now we have the Elasticsearch imported into the server.js, which is require Elasticsearch. And then we have defined this configuration of constant type where the node is localhost 9200, the max retries is 5, the request timeout is 60,000 and the sniff on start is false. And down here we have added a check that will constantly ping the Elasticsearch uh, node so we can be sure that it is running fine. So let's remove this. Anyway. Yeah. 
yeah so it will elastic search connection yes config.node we have this variable here where we define a new client of yes config as a constructor then we call the ping method and uh, we put it null and we move forward and the same thing like that before like that okay so now let's take a look at how here we can um index it in elastic search okay so let me write this code and come back so at this point we have defined elastic search.class.js inside the src folder the same way we did for database and here i have defined a simple index insert function which takes an id the body and the index name where we want to index the document so it just returns the index um here which is index and the id and the op type is create and um, the body and the refresh is true which means after the insertion the index will refresh itself for the latest values and it will ignore the 409 status because that may have may be a conflict and the maximum retry is three after which it will just return an error message if it fails for three consecutive times so then um, we have the get get url index slash elastic search where first thing we do is define the stores constant which is db dot get stores and get stores is a simple database query which is select star from source nothing much going on here then we define the es handler as new es handler with es config and es handler is defined up here which is require source elastic search dot class or oh, i guess that's why it wasn't working um so yeah now it's correct so here we have so in for we are looping over all the stores and uh, we are awaiting the es handler index insert and the id would be um stores i dot id and uh, the dog body will be stores itself and the index name would be those yeah so this should work just fine if it doesn't work then it will turn a 400 status otherwise a 200 status okay so pretty much uh seems good here so let me just console log out the error message if it does happen oh, i'm sorry not here so it will do status true and the message would be stores indexed yeah so after that we have written this so this is the basically the post operation which would insert a new document and um, now let's reconstruct the docker container so i will do this and let's do docker compose up minus d build processor so it will take some time to rebuild itself and when it does we can just run docker container ls and after that we can check out the logs so let's see docker container ls so here we have the processor running then we can see docker logs processor and the redis mysql elastic search connection all are working fine okay so let me clear this out and after that i'll go back to my laravel app and um, here let me run PHP, oh, I'm sorry. PHP artisan optimize. Yeah. And after that, we can run from web.php. I can just take elasticsearch.slash index, copy this, paste it here, hit it. Invalid index name store okay 
for is null do i need to create this index before i can insert in it okay anyway so here we have encountered an error where it says client as errored out exception is invalid name exception okay anyway let me check that check out the solution to this and i'll get back so apparently that error happened because i had to run put stores um query here from the kibana controller so running that it okay so resource already exists at this point but uh, running put stores uh, created this for me and let me see if i can also do yeah so we can try it again so we can see elastic search index okay so now let me see if if we had to do this yep this should work mapper parsing exception so it failed to parse okay let me check this error out and i'll get back here okay so the change that we are doing here now is insert body is now a separate variable itself which is adjacent and these fields are selected to put in it and then now let's see if uh, rebuilding the container works so now it's rebuilt and let's see So now it says state is true stores indexed okay so that's fine let's go back to our kibana and let's try to get from it okay so capital s seems like elasticsearch has a problem with capital letters so here is the data that we just stored in the elasticsearch index so if we run get store slash underscore search then if we run it okay yeah so here it is id is this store demo yeah the same thing as our database okay so this is the part where it can indexes index it like this so let's now write a logic so we can search from elastic search and now we can work towards our use case here where if we pass any kind of string in it so it should append the wildcard star here and uh, it should be able to find um, the occurrences in the name domain address one and address two field so in our app i'll introduce a search bar here so if somebody types uh, the super admin types something out of the store my shopify domain and the address or anything then the search list would uh, filter the table down to those stores only we, which will be taken from the elastic search not from the database so let's build this example right away and let's see what it looks like so here we have a search uh, bar here which says search store here and this is a simple input type with a search store class okay so let me write the javascript for it so i can write okay fine yeah let's continue writing um the code and i'll be back just now okay so at this point um we have written the javascript here and the url would be search store and i should run phbr artisan optimized for this route to load properly it will be also type post but um on web.php you can see that it is defined as a post request but in the home controller search store method if you check out the code here then you will see that it is a get request search uh, slash store question mark search equals uh, search term which is on the port 8010 so let's write this down in uh, server.js so it would be app.use search slash store and um, should i define this es handler 
where I define yeah I should define it here yeah so then I can write um, where this I will define a search query here so this will do return this dot elastic search dot index and but search Um, I think I should I should go over the documentation here. Okay, so here we have the search results returning from Elasticsearch. So a couple changes to the code uh, had to be made where I was using request.params. So that was a wrong decision. So I changed it to request.query and let's remove this console log here. Then after that um so this function was defined search query in the ef handler file so this only does um yeah this had to be included with the body index in it you cannot directly do query inside it because then it will throw errors so the index we have chosen it stores and in query we have the query string we have the query search term plus the wildcard character so it will find the correct matches and let's remove this indices refresh um, function yeah so this can work after that let's see the api response here so if i remove it and just type one at the last yeah here we have in hits here we have the one plus at shopify.com um, record that is correctly um taken yeah so this seems uh good enough so this is a fast api i have included two things um okay so i think i'm gonna wrap the video here um in the next video i can tell you how to index a new store when it installs and i'll also cover the updation of records and the deletion of records so a proper crud operation is maintained and uh, drop a subscribe and like the video if you liked it and uh, if you would like me to cover any new topics on elastic search please let me know yeah i'll definitely cover it for you okay uh that's about it see you